Hello everyone, so this vlog is beyond unplanned and I don't do stuff unplanned normally like you guys know me I'm like the queen of organization, but We are sitting right now at the Vancouver seaplane terminal I'm getting onto a Harbor Air flight, which I literally booked like 40 minutes ago and then just threw myself on the sky train because I'm gonna go visit my mom for the weekend. I just kind of decided that it was a good idea. It's actually the tea party this weekend near our house, so it's gonna be like very bustling. There's gonna be lots of really unhealthy fair food for me to devour and I'm just kind of excited to see her. I didn't really have too many plans this weekend so I thought that I should seize the opportunity because life is short and just go. So that's what I'm doing and it is the most beautiful weekend this weekend. It's like the first one that really feels like true, true summer. I'm sweating right now if you can't tell because I just like lugged my overnight bag over but they made me a really good ice latte because they actually have free coffee here when you fly this is like what I wish travel was normally like because there's like no security no lineups just like a little tiny seaplane so you guys will see it before if you've been watching my videos a long time you've seen me do this before so it won't be that exciting for you but for those of you who are newer I grew up in Victoria and my mom still has a house there so that's where we're going and I will take you with me for the weekend I'm just getting ready to board isn't it so pretty here you guys this cool harbor and I'm gonna go and get onto one of those little planes which is really bumpy sometimes so hopefully today is not it doesn't feel very windy I think it's gonna be totally fine and it's been a while since I've gone to visit though it's been quite a long time because usually my mom just kind of comes to me since I'm working and um, we spend time in Vancouver because there is kind of a little bit more to do here but this weekend will be so nice to just chill out I've been really busy lately so yeah I'm so excited said that like 27,000 times but that's kind of what vlogs are in general right like if it's gonna be a fun vlog someone's gonna be excited about whatever it is they're doing so a two-part dinner tonight part one is a baron of beef sandwich which is like such a classic from my youth because we have this fair going on here every year it's called the Oak Bay Tea Party and um, they make these sandwiches with roast beef that are so delicious so we're gonna eat some now it's like an obligation to get one lady wants it too and um, yeah I'll show you our view because it's so pretty you wanna say hi mom <laughs> Look at how excited like you're, you can smell the beef sandwiches. <laughs> I know. Um, so yeah, this is literally what is going on outside of my mom's door. And I used to be so excited about the rides when I was younger, but now I'm mostly excited about the sandwich. So yeah, we're gonna have a sandwich. Do you want a little piece of beef? <gasps> Ooh. Okay, maybe you'll get one. So where are we? Yeah, I know Bay, obviously. Yeah, we're going like this weird like back route. I'm still pretty sure we're lost, but no. we're not lost. No. I don't know. We need old Bay School now okay, at well, the back. It'll be fine yeah. as long as we make it to pizza. But I thought I would show you guys this. This is cute little hidden park thing in Victoria with little duckies. They don't have any babies right now though, but it's like, it's so hot right now. It's very like summery. It feels like July or August. <laughs> We're just walking over to Prima Strada's new location and they have my favorite pizza of life. Um, I just really like this one flavor of pizza that they have. It's not like that their crust is anything life-changing. Oh, Vancouver has, nice. it's really good. Yeah, I mean, it was really exciting when they came to Victoria as well because we didn't really have any good pizza until then but um 
yeah, Vancouver has really, really good pizza, but they don't have this one flavor that I like with white sauce and pancetta, and it's just so good. And it makes me really sad that I only get it once in a while. So we're gonna go and have it now. All right, we're here at Prima Strada's new location. So it's right on, what is that street for? Oh, for just in case you come here. And here is the best pizza of all time, in my opinion. So what does it have on it? Let me try and remember. It's got ricotta, white sauce, pancetta, and leeks. But not a lot of leeks, just a little just bit. A yeah, so it just gives it like a touch of sweetness. And I'm having it with beer and my mom, and you are having the same pizza. And I need to dig into this now. Also, they have really good chili oil as well, which is a really nice little compliment. So I'm going to devour this, and I will see you guys a little bit later. Good morning, everyone. I thought I would just have a little catch up since I haven't seen you since that delicious pizza yesterday. I'm just at my vanity right now, just kind of finishing up my makeup. It's like halfway done. How girly is my bedroom, by the way? It's like so Laura Ashley last updated, I don't know, in like 2000 and one or something a long time ago I just kind of never bothered to redecorate it I wasn't really into decorating until I got older so it still has my dollhouse there though which is really cool and I don't know it's kind of like a blast to the past to come back here and hang out in it it's kind of fun um so let me just find somewhere where I can put you guys is this okay are you okay with this it's kind of dark for you there because you're against the light beauty guru lighting problems. Just thought we would have a little bit of a chit chat. We are gonna have brunch. I'm just gonna spend a very quiet afternoon doing a little bit of reading and course prep for the course that I'm teaching. And um, yeah, just chill, catch like an evening flight back to Vancouver. And that will be my weekend. And I have to say, I'm so glad that I did this. It felt very frivolous to just catch a flight at the last minute um you know given the price of seaplanes and stuff like that and that i wasn't gonna stay that long but i'm really glad that i did i feel like when you're busy you really need to make the most of the time that you have and I've, i'm starting to get better at doing that it takes like a few years i think once you start working to really make the most of the time off that you have and really enjoy it and learn how to occasionally do nothing. I still love this Lorac Pro palette except it is so disgusting looking. I just feel like it's gotten so grotty compared to my other makeup palettes but I still really love the products. They are so buttery. They're like the butteriest of shadows. I thought I would also give a little shout out too to Jean, who I actually met in person while I was stuffing my face with tacos at La Taqueria in Vancouver. She recognized me from my channel and she told me that her favorite videos that I do are my vlogs and she is right that I do not really vlog that often. So I thought I would kind of take the impromptu opportunity to do it this weekend and I hope you guys don't mind that. So. Yeah, it's always fun to vlog with my mom as well because she's one of the only people in my life who don't mind being on camera because most people hate it. So it's kind of fun to vlog when I see her and we kind of tend to eat out a little bit more and do more stuff than I usually might. Um, so yeah, that is kind of where I am at in my frilly pink bedroom and I'm going to finish my makeup and I will see you guys at brunch in a little bit. Look at our beautiful Benedicts. Here's a little yolk horn for you. Runny yolk. Oh yes. Ooh, that looks so good. So this is the West Coast Benedict with extra avocado. And we are at the village. Here in Ofe. Wanna say hi? Hello. You've never had this particular Benedict, right? Yeah, I told my mom she should get it because I've been here before many times and it's just really really good here it is really small though and today's sweltering and those are doing absolutely nothing for us but it's so pretty out. look at that just so charming and Victoria like hello everyone so we are just hanging out upstairs with my Kindle and the poodle being super cute and there's actually an air show going on so I thought I would try and show you some of it because it's kind of cool they do this every year and are these just volunteer pilots, Mom? Do you know much about it? No. Yeah, we don't know, but it's pretty cool. Look at him go. 
It has been this way every Sunday afternoon at the tea party since we've lived here, so for like a decade. <laughs> I have a bunch of other stuff going on, but I missed most of it because I was still in Vancouver because they have a teacup race and a bathtub race and stuff like that. And you can see the fairground is still super, super busy. want to be in that plane. So we are sadly at the new seaplane terminal. It looks so snazzy and new here. They really expanded it, yeah. hey? Yeah. My mom is sad that I'm leaving. Hello. Hello. Are you glad that I surprised you though? Yes, that was a really nice surprise. <laughs> it's nice to just like take advantage of the seaplane during the summer because during the winter guys they like hardly fly well, late at all. Like I'm on a flight that lands at 7 p.m. And during the winter season. I'll show you my view right now. It's actually really, really pretty here. Tourist territory. So it's like a big hotel. Then over there you can just see the roof of the legislature. And then that is the Empress Hotel. So if some of you have come to visit Victoria, you have probably been there. Um, and then they have a lot of whale tours going on, especially during the summer. So this is just kind of somewhere that they leave from. And it's just such a beautiful day. You want to say bye? Bye. See you soon. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, my mom's probably going to visit Vancouver really soon. So I'm sure you will see another vlog in your subscription box very soon. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.